Just eating butter like a popsicle, huh, boy? Yeah, I know, I'm spoiling myself, but I'm depressed. Or have you forgotten that Jake, my best friend, is in prison? Wait, Jake's in prison? Yeah, he and Rosa were framed for a bunch of bank robberies by Lieutenant Hawkins. Oh, right. And where's Gina? On maternity leave. We were all at her baby shower last week. OK. And why am I bleeding? I don't know, Hitchcock. Oh, so you don't have all the answers. I'm bleeding because my piece of crap son-in-law bit me. Look, we all miss Jake and Rosa, which is why we have to keep working the case. There has to be some way to exonerate them. I've been looking, but I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. Title of your sex tape. What is happening right now? They caught Hawkins trying to flee the country. She confessed to everything, and they let me out. Oh, my God, Jake, is it really you? Are you really here? You know it, baby. But first, I got to hug my best friend. Yeah. What? Welcome back, Peralta. I just heard from the mayor. To apologize for what happened to you, they're sending you to Disney World. You and one male guest. As long as I don't have to go on any of the scary rides. I just go for the shows. <laughs> boil, 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 boil! Were you dreaming about Jake again? Why did you wake me up? I told you never to wake me up! So I got assigned to this one rookie, and on his training day, I made him smoke angel dust at gunpoint. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Isn't that the plot and tagline of... The movie Training Day? Yes, great observation tank. It's because it's based on my life. Bunch is over. Bunch of trays. Now, Peralta. I haven't finished my lemon cookie bowl. And you're not gonna get to either. Give it to me. Oh, you want the cookie? There's your cookie. You're going in the hole. Oh, I'm going in the hole? Yeah. Yeah, bring it on! Jay! 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 Remember Jay! you saw Jay! 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 You can lock me up, but one day I'll get out of here and I'll come for you! I'll come for all of you! Hey, Warden, what's up? Next time, don't wait too long to spit the cookie. I've been waiting in here for four minutes, and it's gross. Oh, man, it really is. OK, snitch time. What's up with Romero? All right, he's got a delivery coming in on Wednesday night. One of the cafeteria workers is smuggling something in with the produce. Ah, <laughs> great. See you Thursday. Wait, what? You're just going to leave me in here in solitary? You spit in a guard's face. That's five days in the hole. Yeah, but, I mean, you made me do that. Well, we don't want anybody getting suspicious, huh? Have fun. Try not to go crazy. OK. No big deal. Five days is nothing. I'm not afraid to be alone with my thoughts. My thoughts are awesome. Die Hard Six on a cruise ship, pizza bagel restaurant, my father never loved me, and I'm going to die alone. Oh, boy, that happened fast. Guard! Guard! OK, we're all set up in there, Mr. Peralta. Just uh, sign here. What's all set up? What's going on? Ah, thank you for asking, Terrence. You see? The food in prison was inedible. All I thought about day and night were the things I wished I was eating. And you, Amy. I thought about you a lot. Sex with you, just us doing sex with foreplay. Great save, babe. Thanks. And so I decided to make my food fantasy come true. Unbutton your pants and take off your shoes, because there's going to be a doink load of sodium at Freedom Feast 2017. We begin where all great stories begin, in the quaint little town of French Fry Village. After that, we're going to move our adventure over to Cheeseburger Mountain, which consists, you guessed it, of turkey burgers. I'm kidding, it's cheeseburgers. This is kind of just stuffing. You can avoid that. But it's attached to the Thanksgiving turkey theme, because I was thinking about that a lot up in the jail. And finally, we have a big old Passover brisket, because you know I love my mom. If you would all take a seat while I make a toast. Kindly raise your two liters to freedom, to you, and most importantly, to orange drink. And sex with Amy. To sex with Amy! Sorry, shouldn't have said that last part. Halloween. <laughs> it's heist time. Ah! Thought you could get a head start on heist prep? Good luck. I'm already dressed. Well, I'm also dressed. And I made breakfast. Wait, where are my eggs? In my belly. Ah! Now get a move on. It's heist time. I love Halloween. Hey, Charles, can we talk in the briefing room for a sec? There's a question I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. It's happening. Jake is going to pop the question. He's going to ask me to be his BM. No. BM, best man, is a common abbreviation. No one but you has ever used it. I am so relieved. I thought maybe he was going to ask one of Amy's brothers or ugh, Sarge. Hey, man, come on. Charles! OK, so I know this is a lot to ask. No, it's not. I want to do it. 
You want to cover my shift this weekend so I can go to the White Plains Mall and meet Daryl Strawberry at the opening of a cell phone store? Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd ask. Great. Thanks. You sure it's okay? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm very happy about it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, look at my smile. I have to go now. Oh, my God! Jake! What do you say, bud? Will you be my BM? Yes! Yes, a million times yes! In your face, Terry! What? I'm holding a sparkler for you. I helped organize a lot of this. We could stick that sparkler up your butt. I'm the best man! Okay, hold me. Nothing but mouth. Whoa, impressive. Are you kidding me? That's a nothing. Diaz has been chucking D-holes in on my mouthpiece since we were back at the academy. Check this out. It's finally happening! Hey, Jay, guess who just called me? The Jerky Boys. They're back! No. What? No. No. DC Parlov. He's in town for Legend Con, and he has a case for us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Parlov, can you write those Skyfire books? I thought he turned out to be a jerk. Yeah, but ever since Jake and I saved his life, he's actually been very nice. He even sent me a Christmas gift, a full-scale replica of the Sword of Opadoma. Mm -hmm. Why are you so excited? You don't care about those stupid books. I actually did read all of them in prison. They are the greatest books I've ever read. And I've read Cujo. Jake and I really bonded over Skyfire. Watch this. Favorite moment in the series? The, the summoning, summoning of, of Bella Castro. Castro. Second favorite? The, the Scarlet Feast. Feast. Third favorite? When, when you thought Kalar had been swallowed by the Norlith, but he had just switched armor with Samling the Betrayer in the Battle of Borcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth favorite? Three was plenty, so was zero. OK, I can see that you're skeptical, Rosa, but how about this? Come with us on the case. I know you think it's dumb, but Skyfire is actually very smart and dark and adult. It's not for nerds at all. Ooh, on our way there, should we sing the Elvish hunting song? <laughs> Sharpen your swords and string your bows. The beasts have gone away. Gobble, gobble. Tommy Gobbler's back, and he wants to hear what you turkeys are thankful for. Charles, you got to stop. Nah. I don't gobble, understand people. But Charles. Gobble. Dude, gobble. Gobble, gobble, your tail feather is caught in the gobble door. Thank you, gobble. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. I think your feathers are ripping. Gobble. Gobble. I'll get back to you guys by the end of the day with all the logistics. Sergeant Terrence Jeffords. Four years ago on this exact date, you told me I was too old to learn how to do the worm. I've out on that day to prove you a fool. And today, I shall. Check it. <laughs> As I was telling the squad, our old CO, Captain McGintley, just passed away. Oh, no. We're going to Los Angeles for the funeral next week. I'll have the travel details later. Hey, has anyone seen a worm? Because this funky chicken's hungry. Charles, a man has died. Read the room. And so concludes this year's Secret Santa drawing. Just a quick reminder of the rules. $48 limit, no perishable items, and no homemade massage coupons, Hitchcock. Fine, then everyone will have to pay full price for them. Oh, Captain, I would like a $40 gift card to any restaurant that serves nachos. I don't have you, Peralta. Not only do I know that you do indeed have me, but I also know who everyone else has. That's not possible. Perhaps not for ordinary men such as yourself, Jeffords, but for the brilliant mind of Detective Jacob Sherlock Peralta, I legally changed my name. It's quite simply elementary. For you see, Amy made a face I only recognize from our bedroom, which means that she has Captain Holt. Charles has Terry. His eyes keep shifting over to him. No, they don't. Terry looked disgusted, which means he has Hitchcock. Rosa didn't draw a name, nor did she put one in. She doesn't want to participate. Never do. Hitchcock moves his mouth when he reads, and he quite clearly said Charles. I did get Charles. Scully has Amy. He's holding his paper name side out. Oh, he's good. And I have Scully, which means Captain Holt has me. I'll be taking that gift card. Daddy loves nachos. Should we draw the names again and leave Jake out? Yeah! yeah. No! Sherlock wants a present! Thank you, Margaret. You're welcome, Raymond. Seamus Murphy. That's right. 
Remember how I saved the detectives from prison in exchange for a favor? The time has come. Wait, this is in my order. What? This is an omelet. I only eat omelets on vacation. Yeah, I don't care what you eat. I'm here to call in the favor that you owe me. Billy, what if I say no? This is you asking me for intel and promising to pay me back. How do you think this would look to your boss, especially now that you're up for the commission and job? Yeah, I know everything. So, what do you want from me? A permit to throw a block party? Mm. We don't even have to break the law. This is fantastic news. I am not giving Seamus Murphy that permit. He only wants to use the block party as a cover for something criminal, a robbery, a murder, or something worse. You don't know that for sure. And that's your loophole. I don't believe in loopholes. What? Loopholes are the best. Remember that time when Pancake Palace had that all-you-can-eat deal, but they didn't set a time limit? I ate pancakes for a week for $3.99. All I had to do was sleep there and never shower. What? Thanks for the invite, friend. I will not be using a loophole, Peralta. As always, I'll be using the main hole or no hole. I choose no hole. You just said hole way too much, sir. And that's coming from Charles. Yes, that's concerning. Oh, you think you know someone, Jake? Unbelievable! This installation is composed of Constantine's accounts of the First Punic War. In the year 260... Ah, yes, the First Punic War, the sexiest of all wars. Hi, Dr. Albrin Einstein. I have an urgent question for you about ancient Greece. Shall we walk? Of course, Dr. I feel like you said Einstein? Yes, that's correct. It's a family name. What is going on? Captain Olds, let me just follow my lead. Your theory is wrong. The Greeks did not climb out of the Trojan horse's butt. Put this on. A rose shearing head at work? People will think I'm demented. Just put it on. Kevin, Dr. Einstein? Ah, Professor McGonagall. Why is Boyle dressed as me? Shh. Get in. But this card is... Get in! Mm -hmm. Professor? Student? Hello, Kevin. It's me, Raymond Holt. We need to get you to safety. Your life is in danger. Carlton, there was a botched b and &E at a jewelry store in Atlantic that just turned into a hostage situation. They want you to be the negotiator. Oh, my God. My prayers have finally been answered. You prayed for a hostage situation? Yes, I did, every single day. I don't understand. Why isn't ESU handling this? Apparently, the hostage taker asked for Jake by name. Oh, yes, it's getting even cooler. Oh, man, I wonder who it is. Ooh, maybe it's the brother of someone I put away for life. Ooh, or the identical twin of someone I put away for life. Ooh, or the fraternal Jake, twin of... Wait. Just get down there and take Diaz with you. Yep, 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 yep. How do I look? It doesn't matter. Let's go negotiate! Hey, everyone. I'm here. Jake Peralta, the negotiator. Oh, so you're Jake Peralta. The negotiator, yes. Who are you? Dennis Cole, ESU. This was my crime scene before you bozos got here. Nice to meet you too, Dennis. I've spent 10 years as a negotiator, and you just took my first hostage situation. All I've done up till now is talk jumpers off of rooftops. But that must be satisfying in its own way, right? Yeah, really satisfying saving a crazy person's life. Whatever. Here's a little advice. I don't like you two. Not so much advice as it is a hurtful statement based on limited interaction. He wants to talk to you. Get the hell in there. Ooh, it says negotiator on it. This is Jake Peralta. I am unarmed, and I'm approaching the building. You wanted to talk to me? Keep those hands in the air. Now wave them like you just don't care. What? I'm just messing with you, Peralta. Put your hands down. Give me a hug, baby. Judy! Santiago, your test result from the sergeant's exam has arrived. Ooh, everybody make room. Amy needs adequate space to do her signature dork dance. I don't know if there's going to be a dork dance. And look how small that envelope is. That's not a big good news envelope. That's a little bad news envelope. What? That's nuts. Sarge, tell her envelope size doesn't matter. If I'm being honest, I got a much bigger envelope. Oh, God. Unhelpful, Terry. Very unhelpful. Mine was bigger, too. OK, I just won't ever open it. That way, I'll never get rejected. Fine. I'll open it. No! No! Do it harder. I opened it. You passed. Oh, my God. I need to be a sergeant. You're gonna be a sergeant! Yes! Yeah! Oh, no, it's happening! Woo! Yeah. That's my future wife! So... Pigeon's still here? Yeah, no matter what we do, you just won't leave. The problem is you're thinking like detectives. No, I'm definitely not. When you should be thinking like a bird. This 
is Operation Saving Private Pigeon. On my mark, I will turn on this fan, gently startling our bird due east into the file box canyon, where he will encounter Charles holding two pot lids. He'll bang them together, forcing Private Pigeon into the ceiling there and out of the ceiling there, where he will be greeted by Scary Rosa holding a scary picture of an owl. Now he's playing our game. He'll veer left into an upside down garbage can propped up by a hockey stick and connected to a string that Gina is holding. She pulls it, he's trapped, and Terry releases him outside. Terry hates birds. Okay, little friend, let's get you home to mama. No! Oh God, it flew right into the fan! It's everywhere! There's pigeon everywhere! Philip Davidson. Detective Jake Peralta asked me to drop by. Mm, the dentist who murdered someone. Spoiler alert, they think you did it. Can you show him to interrogation room C, please? Have fun in there. Thank you. What are you smiling about? How uncomfortable this guy is. Jacked up the thermostat, got the table all sticky, made one of the chair legs too short, and worst of all, I had Gina greet him. What did you have her do? Be yourself. Poor son of a bitch. Yeah. Why are you wearing a tuxedo? Kevin and I are attending the opera. Ooh, the opera. Is it the one Bugs Bunny sings? Yes. Okay. So, who's this? This is Philip Davidson. What do we have on him? Clear motive, clear means, and a non-existent alibi, but the DA won't bring a charge because he says it's all circumstantial. If we want to bring this guy down, we have to get him to confess right here, right now. Mm, an interrogation with a ticking clock and everything on the line? I better call Kevin and tell him I won't be attending the opera. There's someone else I'd rather hear sing. Oh, damn! Hello, Kevin, I won't be joining you at the opera tonight. The, phone already. the ticket's under oh, my name, H-O-L. Hey, Charles, want to grab a beer before you go home? Ooh, a yeast feast. Never mind. No, 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 I want to go. It's just there's a huge emergency I have to deal with first. Oh, no, is everything OK? It's about my food truck. I have to get a parking spot. Oh, that doesn't sound as intense as you were making it out to be. Move your ass, you old bitch! What is happening? We have to get there by 7 o'clock when they lift the parking restrictions. It's the best spot in Brooklyn, and everyone wants it. Get the hell out of the way! Ah! Charles, I highly doubt the entire food truck industry is racing to get into this one spot. It's not Mad Max. We're neck and neck with rice pudding. You got Korean tacos on your six. Oh, my God, it's real. We're on the Fury Road. Witness me, blood bear! So, do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. Okay. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? Okay. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I, I want it, it that way. way. Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part. Here comes the bachelor, all dressed in my nice jacket I only wear for special events. Ah, oh, you're already on fire. Thank you, my friend and gentlemen. Welcome to my bachelor party. This is the elite party squad. That is, assuming the captain is ready to let loose. Captain? I don't think so. I want you guys to think of me as one of the boys, so tonight I'll be swapping out my captain's hat for my 
Kangol hat. Call me Raymond. Okay, Raymond in the Kangol hat. I will definitely call you Raymond Raymond in the Kangol hat. <gasps> this is the best night of my life. Mine too. Sharon gave me permission to get wasted. She's even putting a pasta pot next to the bed in case I hurl. Smart. I'm definitely putting a pasta pot on our wedding registry. Charles, tell us everything we're doing tonight. Well, that could take a long time. I've been planning this bachelor party for 10 years. But I met Amy eight years ago. Well, what does she have to do with this? JK, I'm happy for you both. No, no. Tonight is about creating a bond that will last forever. Tonight is about the Batch Boys. Well, we can brainstorm the name later. No, we can't, because I already made fanny packs. Ah, well, that settles that. This uh, clearly says Bach Boys. No, it's Batch, you know, like the beginning of Bachelor. I've been working on this for 10 years. Don't ruin it. OK, so let's fanny up Batch Boys, because it's time to party. Woo, woo! Yes. Whoop, whoop, Raymond and the Kangol. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Jake, hurry up, I'm starving. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just had to grab my wallet. Gentlemen. Fine, I was trying something and it didn't work. I am so sick of this city. I go into a coffee shop, and as soon as everybody sees that I'm a cop, they stop talking and they avoid eye contact with me. One lady even walked out. I am just so tired of being treated like the enemy. Hey, Hitchcock, your penis is hanging out. Oh, well, that's a relief. I can't believe this is a rec center. It looks amazing. You look amazing, foxy as hell. Simmer down, Boyle. No, no, I love it. Amp it up, Boyle. Happy to. Jake, your body's kicking and skin is clear as a summer day. Ooh. Jake. Ames, you look beautiful. But when are you getting your makeup put on? Y'all, she woke up like this. Not now, Jake. We're in crisis mode. The cake hasn't arrived yet. Mason woke up with the chicken pox, so we don't have a ring bearer. Plus, look what I found on my veil. Ooh. I planned everything so perfectly, and now it's all falling apart. No, it isn't. Take a deep breath. All right, we got this. Terry, Rosa, will you please take this veil to a dry cleaner? And if they won't do a rush job, make them use force. I mean, we're not going to abuse our power. Of course not. We're good cops. <laughs> I was just exaggerating. Rosa, I was not exaggerating. Great. Okay, now for the ring bearer situation. This actually might be a blessing in disguise. I know that he's your nephew, but I wasn't super jazzed about Mesa. Yeah, he should be cuter. His face is too small for his head. He's a Dick Tracy villain. But I have an idea for a new ring bearer who is very adorable and very obedient. I would be. I'm talking about Cheddar the dog. Yep, right. Brilliant. He loves responsibility. I'll go pick him up. I'm gonna go with Holt. Seems like people are pairing off for adventures and we have the best rapport. Cheddar, are you crazy? What about my- Allergies, I got your meds right here. I brought them just in case Hitchcock decided to wear his toupee again. It's very clearly not human hair. Human hair is indistinguishable from badger fur. That is absolutely not the case, but that reminds me you two are wedding band canceled last minute and I need you to find a replacement. You can count on us. Flat top and the freak, we always deliver. Our band canceled? Not in any way, shape or form, but it's a very stressful day and I thought things would go better without Hitchcock and Scully here. Oh, that's so smart. Look, babe, we planned a great wedding. It's gonna be a perfect day. Phone call for you, sir. Ah, thank you. That would be the cake guy saying he has arrived. Hello? Jake Peralta. Yes? There's a bomb at your wedding. It's set to explode at 5.30. Everyone inside will die. So, that was not the cake guy. 